Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am outside. I have a couple projects that I'm going to be working on. Um, one, I have flowers and some grass to plant in a new planter bed right in front of our porch and I'll show you that here in a minute. And then the next is in the backyard. Um, I'm going to be putting down some fresh soil and um, sowing some more grass seed in the patches that are like naked <laughs> so I gotta work on that and I'm really sorry I hope you can hear me it is windy out here today it seems like every time I want to come out and work outside it ends up being windy but that's okay the temperature is great feels good out here and I am going to accomplish these things so let's go get it done okay so here's one project my husband just made this bed uh, last Friday and he stained it to match the shutters that we also built back in the fall so they look really good so I have my mulch some flowers and then the grass I was going to go with three grasses but I cheaped out and just bought two so hopefully I'm going to be happy with the way that looks um, and hopefully I don't don't regret that but uh, I got some yellow flowers to match my yellow door that I painted. So that is one project we're gonna work on. Um, this bed, this bed is weird. Okay, so underneath this bed is a really weird step. You can see steps up right here, and then it kind of goes about here, and then it drops off to another step that came to here. It didn't make any sense. They were um, completely not to code. So every time I would come out, I would fall on them trying to get in and out of the car with kids. So we thought, well, let's just cover up that weirdness with a planter bed. And I love the way it turned out. So now you can either get up to the front door right here or you can come to these steps. I need to clean all this up. <laughs> but now it's like it finally makes sense. Um, right here, we're building a railing. So we're going to paint it white to match and then we have um, balusters that will go in there. They're black. So we got those. It'll look like that, um, but with white to match the posts. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get that done this weekend. But right now I'm going to work on this. Here is our beautiful view. It's the one reason we bought this house. It's looking a little overcast right now. I don't know if we're gonna get a storm or not, but. So if we keep walking down the driveway, we see that the kids left all their toys out everywhere. <laughs> but here, we just re-drilled our well, so basically where we live here in the southwest, it's very dry and people's wells are going dry. And four years ago, our well went dry, so unfortunately we had been hauling water, so basically a big water truck would come in every week up the driveway and then go pump water into a huge holding tank that was over there so we'd get about it's a 1500 gallon tank and we'd get that filled every week and that cost us 75 dollars every every week um so we are very grateful to now have a new well and we don't have to have water trucked in 
because that was just that was crazy and you know three hundred dollars a month when you're on a budget that's tough so here's our backyard grass patch you can see it looks better up there by the deck but over here it is pretty pretty patchy so I'm going to add some fresh soil, get that kind of cleaned up, and reseed. So I've got work to do. These beds over here are full of weeds and wind blue trash everywhere. And there's just lots of work to do. So I'm going to use some of this dirt behind me uh, to kind of put back in the grassy patches. And then I also have grass soil, but I need to mix it with something else. So I'm gonna use some of this, some of my topsoil, and then I'm going to spread out the grass seed. So uh, my wheelbarrow broke. So I'm gonna have to use buckets. Not very, not very conventional, but you know, you do what you gotta do. So anyway, those are the projects I've got going on today. And uh, I'm gonna start on the front planter bed. So let's go do it. Another thing you might ask is why in the world would you have grass if you didn't even have water to water your grass with? Well, we set up a gray water tank and I will show you that here. I think it's draining. So basically when I do a wash, this is where it comes out. <laughs> Instead of just going down the drain where, you know, it would just go to the septic tank anyway, we decided, well, you know, we're using that water anyway, so why not use it twice? So, you know, I do a lot of laundry for a family of five. So every time, you know, this gets filled, uh, we're able to then run it out. Right now it's going with, through a hose and a pump to another hose and then out to the spigot in the back where we can then water the grass. So <laughs> I know that's a little bit crazy. Um, the setup's a little wonky, but you know, it's worked this long. Um, my husband's going to actually do some plumbing to where it's not just a hose going through the garage. So that'll be nice to get that done. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you're using the water anyway. Why not just use it twice? And you know, the grass has done really well. We haven't really had to use special, like gray water um, cleaners. Uh, I normally do but I've also used regular things like, you know, Tide or whatever. It didn't seem to have any effect on the grass. It didn't, it didn't seem to matter. So, um, yeah. yeah, so far it's been a good setup. You know, we've been happy with it. And, you know, like I said, it's a little wonky, but you know, this barrel is huge. It's a rain barrel and it holds Mm, I forget how many gallons it holds. Um, the one we had before was just a 32 gallon trash <laughs> bucket and it would only hold uh, two, you know, uh, two loads. So I'd run the wash twice and it would be full. So um, this one, I am able to do a lot of loads in this before I have to empty it. So uh, it's working out pretty good.
So I'm going to start by just adding some loose dirt so that way the grass seed has something to stick to. So I do have a seed spreader but I'm going to just do this with my hands so that way I can get it exactly where I want in these little patches that um, just need to be filled in. So now I'm just going to very carefully start working in the seeds to that loose dirt that I added. Um, you have to be really gentle, so I just very lightly work it in. Um, it says about a quarter of an inch. So now I'm just going to start covering all the little seedlings with the topsoil. So this is a lawn starter that you can use when you are reseeding your lawn. Um, it's not necessary, but I already had it from last year, so I decided to go ahead and use it up. So with this weed and feed, I am going to use my seed spreader so that way everything gets evenly distributed. And then I'm just going to water the heck out of it. So in our dry climate, it's hard to keep the lawn really nice, so I have to go ahead and reseed it twice a year in the spring and the fall. Okay, well, that's all I am done for now, and I'm going to go take a shower. I'm exhausted. I gotta go get the baby up and start making dinner. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next one.